to all Patreons and uh, channel members for uh, supporting me. Uh, I'll be releasing project files to my Patreons and uh, exclusive tutorials for uh, channel members. For details, please check link in description. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, this is Mr. Biz. Welcome back to my channel. Let's continue further with the drone AI. Uh, in this video, we will enable uh, physics uh, so that uh, if the health is less than uh, 20, the drone starts falling to the ground. Uh, so in previous video, we created uh, enable physics uh, custom event. So let's start there. Set the AI state to uh, okay, we don't have an A state created for that. Uh, go to the game files, drones, blueprints, data, AI states, and six. Set this to physics, then chase state. to explode and set the stop propeller to true okay add a, a rotating movement the rotating movement and uh, set this to zero and call this here set the rotation rate so that when when it falls it rotates and falls so i am giving it as 600 uh, this suits my need so change this value according to your need and on character movement default land movement set this to custom and get the capsule component and enable its physics so by default this is disabled so we are enabling that and add an impulse then add a delay of uh, 0.5 seconds then get the general particle template so already we have the uh, smoke effect coming when it is when the when the health goes uh, less than uh, uh, 50 so now start the fire and set the AI state to fall okay now we have to set the impulse value uh, for the impulse get a random float in range so 500 to 1000 okay. and boo select int minus one and plus one to multiply this with the written value of this okay break this uh, impulse z keep it as 100 and uh, connect this to x and copy this duplicate it and connect this to y and here change the value to 300 to 500 so uh, what we are trying to do here is uh, the uh, when added impulse to the drone i mean when, when it is about to fall it goes to it goes towards a random location not exactly all the time to the same location so that's the reason we are giving a random float uh, minus one and plus one uh, it is left right or uh, forward or backward so something like that uh, uh, so this gets selected in random and uh, it, uh, we, are, we are applying that value to x and y 
so that in x it, go, uh, it goes in a random location and y in a random location so not all the drones will go to a, you know a single location uh, connect the capsule component here okay so let's see how it does smoke started uh, okay it is going very fast I don't know why let's check that okay move the base mesh uh, to the uh, capsule component okay now it looks better so once it falls down uh, we have to make it explode and uh, stop the rotating movement so that uh, we will see it okay for that go to the drone base and uh, event hit so when uh, uh, the, the drone is hitting something we have to make it explode AI state is fall then do once Create a custom event. Explode and call this here. Okay, now on explode, set uh, is dead to true. Then uh, nullify the rotating movement. Rate set this to zero so this will uh, stop it from rotating after it falls to ground and disable and this base mesh okay uh, get this base mesh and uh, disable the collision then do a sequence and get the general particle again and set the template to explore again this comes uh, with our uh, starter content and place sound at location Uh, get actor location so get the actor location and sound to explore explosion queue I think we already have the explosion queue so we add will add that Uh, so as I said in the beginning of the series, we will add a burnt mesh. So static mesh and name it as burnt mesh. So burnt mesh will be nothing but uh, the burnt uh, version of the drone. So this I just made it in uh, uh, Blender just remove all the propellers and uh, change the color to black but you can have more realistic ones so we have to hide the base mesh and uh, uh, you know uh, make the burnt mesh visible set visibility 
responsibility to false propagate to children then uh, get the burned mesh set visibility to true and mm, delay after two seconds again get the general particle and we will put back the smoke effect smoke okay uh, this is good and on the sequence in the second part we have to add damage to all the actors uh, that are uh, you know uh, in, within the range of this explosion so for that uh, go to your game files blueprint weapons projectile and projectile base so we will use uh, this logic so copy this fully and come to your bp drone paste it here and connect it to this thing and explosion radius uh, give it as 100 and actors to ignore make an array and uh, self so that this explosion does not affect the drone again and make mm, causing it to explode multiple times okay remove the script location and put get actor location uh, because uh, it's exploding at the, at the same location actor location explosion radius uh, you can put it to a variable okay, let's put it to a variable only uh, promote to variable and let this value be this value be 300 and Uh, create variable for damage percent also and uh, impulse also but for hit location we can get the hit actor location For uh, damage percent at 300 and for uh, explosion impulse at 20,000. So this is almost similar to the logic we created for our uh, uh, projectile. For our grenade launcher. So it's, almost, it's the same logic. We just created the variables. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, it did hit. Okay, but it is not dead yet. Okay, why? Okay, on the base mesh. Uh, Enable simulation generates kit events. I had a box collision.
and uh, for this So uh, the issue we are uh, uh, facing here is uh, uh, even after the drone falls down, it's, it's not uh, exploding. So it is not exploding. So the, the reason is uh, we created uh, So we created this channel uh, in projectile, right? But we didn't assign that to our uh, projectile base. So assign that here. Uh, and on the drone base, uh, in the capsule component, uh, uh, select simulate states hit event. Now let's see. Now it is exploding. So this is fine. Okay. So it has exploded and turned to the burnt mesh, and it is now uh, uh, what is it uh, uh, emitting the smoke. So if the player is around the uh, blast radius, then player would be uh, player would get hurt. So that's the logic we have put here. So this will take care of all those things. So that's it I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.